Welcome back, Apprentice. I hope you've been minding your studies. Today, we're looking at the path of perception and of the mind, the path of the Iron Gauntlet and its followers, formerly known as the Mastagos. In the fallen world, Mastagos have gained a bit of reputation throughout history as kings and wise men, manipulators and masterminds. They're movers and shakers in every cabal or concilium they're in, and some would even suggest that they have a widespreading reach here in the real fallen world. But in order to understand them, we should walk their path as well. Their path generally starts as one of uh, discipline and crisis, of pain and transcendence. Their awakening exposes old psychological wounds, tearing them open anew, and forcing the would-be warlock to face them. Their lives were probably ones of incredible high heights and really low lows, balancing their mental health along a knife's edge. But instead of straightening out their lives, their journey along that path instead is taken by those who embrace the extremes and take ownership of them. Devils line the roads they walk, made of their own desire and doubt, pushing them forward and pushing them down telling them to stop, but driving them always forward. In their awakening, the Mastagos faces great fear and pain, but in the end sees themselves for who they are and willfully embracing all of it. The devil would try to break them, but they decide that theirs is the rod. But what does this walk through hell end up really meaning to them? It opens their eyes to this whole new world, one where distance is not a matter of meters and inches, but that of emotional bondage. Relation is all relative. It's all a matter of perception. Mastagos are the matters of space and of the mind. Where a sleeper might think of space in terms of physical distance, steps, minutes it takes to get to work, a warlock understands that space is less about distance and more about connection to one another. Every inch connected to the next. As an apprentice warlock, you should be able to feel the connection between people and places, knowing how they relate to one another. You can come easily to know the difference between a person in a brand new home and someone who has been in this house forever. If you focus on this field of study, you can also begin to feel the web and disturb the connections between people and places, or perhaps easing them. It's said that a talented apprentice can even view the world literally through the eyes of another. But there are those who decide instead to turn their eyes inward, focusing on the connection between one and themselves. Those who focus on the mind come to find that what sleepers might think of as their consciousness, their inner advisor just sort of going on in their ears forever, is instead this transcendent thing, a being and state, calm, never striving, that safe home that you feel when you slowly drift off into sleep. As an apprentice psychonaut, you can feel the ebb and flow of these tides, feeling the presence of these true selves all around you. If you reach out, you should be able to feel the flow of the thoughts, but focusing inward should allow you to form a deeper connection with your own inner self. As your skill progresses, you'll find yourself able to divert the flow of true selves of those around you, altering dreams, memories, and emotions. A talented apprentice is even said to be able to reach these true selves as they are in others directly beginning to learn others more deeply, and some claim being able to help others face those inner demons. But it's important to remember that there's more to reality than perception, and endless study leaves one ignorant to the physical world. Warlocks and psychonauts have exhibited a lack of connection to the fallen world itself, and to the physical things which inhabit it. But don't worry too much about this, apprentice. With persistence and study, I'm certain you can overcome that. But in the meantime, I think that's going to be enough for today's lesson. Uh, that was just a short introduction to the Mastagos. 
make sure to continue studying your guide so that you can learn to deepen your connection to yourself and the world around you. here from Tenigan. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this one, I put a lot more into this, uh, this particular video, I think, and I, I hope that you, uh, agree that it turned out in, uh, a, a lot better. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in more stuff. As you've seen, I started my Arcane Theory series, which there will be an Arcane Theory video coming out. I think I'm gonna start doing them Sundays, uh, Sundays or Mondays, I don't know when. Um, but I'm also interested in doing other series. I just don't know what right now. I might do character or st story profiles if you would be interested in either of those let me know on Twitter or in the comments. That would be really, really nice. Um, character profiles would just be sort of short introductions to characters and character concepts. Um, I would love to do them in character, but I don't know if I, I have the uh, capabilities for that right now. Um, but story concepts would, once again, be sort of a... a uh, a short overview of various sort of settings and stories that I've personally come up with um, that I think sound like a lot of fun. Uh, so, so, like, as I come up with them, um, putting them out there. In the meantime, like I said, if you like these, uh, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more content just like this, and... I've been Alex from Tenigan, and I will see you in the next video.